Hello, I'm Hope Wilmar, and I live in Houston, Texas. It is truly an honor to be accepted at Quilt National again this year. This year's art, Enigma, is quite different than my previous Quilt National art. Enigma employs a technique called stacked writing, and I use it often in my abstract work. You can see exam other examples of my stack writing work on my website, hopewillmarth.com, or here behind me on uh, examples on my design wall. So Enigma is part of a series and I do enjoy working in a series. Now I am gonna let you in on the secret of how to create stack writing. I brush the word, the letters of words onto whole cloth, first writing the words horizontally without any regard to spacing. I then turn the work, write the phrases again vertically over the previously written words, never regarding spaces, always stacked on top of each other. In Enigma, you can see that I have used two different, or actually three different sizes of brushes. The top column, as here, uses a wide brush. The bottom of it, that same column uses a thin round brush. And the column, thin column to the edge uses a very small, small, very thin brush. In the negative spaces on the bottom of that column, I filled in, as here, negative space with black. On, in Enigma, on the thin, thin column to the right, I've used a little bit of red to enhance the abstract design of the work. I use acrylic paint that's been thinned with a liquid medium designed for fabric paint to soften the hand, and I always heat set with a hot iron. I have also used a thickened Procyon dye as a medium, I've used acrylic ink as a medium, and I've used markers as a medium. Now, what words do I select? I use different sets of words to keep my interest during the project and for different abstract design. I don't write the alphabet over and over again. I don't write a word over and over again, like bumfuzzled, Igor lives here, or even my mother used to tell me, although that might be a new series I start just to see what kind of abstract design it creates. I use the words of famous people in history or verses in the Bible. The Bible is not copyrighted. In Enigma, I use the words from Philippians 4, 8. I find verses in the Bible to be beautiful words, inspirational words, words that are very personal for me. And I like the rhythm that I can get into writing the phrases over and over again and watching as an abstract design emerges for me. For you, the viewer, it's an enigma. What is this? Is it hieroglyphics? Is it a puzzle to solve? Is it a mystery to unfold? Or is it simply an elegant abstract design to enjoy?